Hello, Froggy here, and today I will be showing you how to get into various rooms within the Deep Stone Crypt. This video assumes that you already know your way around the raid, so if you don't, you'll want to check out my other videos on the topic. First up, the first encounter. So, technically, this is the encounter after the initial entry, but I believe it'll be the first with an actual raid uh, encounter test. So we climb up in clarity control to the second to the top middle offshoot on the left. We then fly wide to the left around the load zone. This allows us to fly into where you would initially load, which will trigger the previous restricted area. Since there's often a little gap between when doors spawn in, you can just run into the previous encounter. With any amount of uh, lag at all, like even just watching a video, or if you happen to be on a slightly slower connection, getting into the previous room from here is also very easy. Jumping over to further inside of Clarity Control, Guardian we'll down. get into Second Encounter next. Or Second Encounter Part 1, as I believe this to be a split encounter. I'll just use Guardian the down. same out of map as my previous video. And we'll make it over to the other side. Pardon Guardian my down. allies backtracking in there. Nixara there is the one who found the way past the Sparrow Encounter final door that I showed in my previous video. And Henry is the one who found many of these uh, holes going forwards. Guardian down. So you just want to make your way down to the floor. And I like getting up on the little ledge you'll see here just as a fixed location for a known starting point. You want to get in on the inner track here. Really convenient with catapult lift. And right around here there is a hole. It can be a little tricky to spot, I actually just passed it. And there we go. We actually walk around this entire room. I might as well take a little peek around. So this is why well, I think this is a two-parter. You'll see that in a, uh, a bit. When it's time to leave, just find the pod and go back through the hole. You can climb all the way back into clarity control. So now, we'll head to the spacewalk. This time we're going to go all the way up the pipe and get on top of the building. You don't really have to go all the way up, but I just like to because it's nicer walking on the top than on the invisible bottom. You don't want to hit the Rapture load zone, so we're just going to continue out this direction. The spot I'm going to show you is another intangible wall found by Henry. He seems to have quite a knack for running into those. It's a much better drop point than the one I randomly stumbled on as it puts you right onto the platform instead of having to haphazardly scramble your way to a safe point. Going to make our way down here. This is also past like a series of holes on the, well, hole looking things on the right side. So if you see those, you're going in the right direction. We need to make our way out and around a uh, wall you can't actually see from this angle. And from here, you're right there. You just gotta walk towards the end and you'll drop gracefully down. You can see I can shoot straight up through there. I 
For the next area I show, you'll have to make your way all the way through the jumping puzzle in this direction. But briefly before that, just showing that you can easily exit here right at this point by jumping up. If you wanted to re-enter the out of map area we were before, you then just go back around this wall. And if you really want, you can painstakingly climb all the way back up to where we were before. Generally, I just suicide until I spawn there. So now we'll be getting into Second Encounter Part 2, in my opinion. Time will tell if I'm right there. You don't need a sword to do this, or an empty sword will work just as well. But we are climbing up and around the side. Yet another one that Henry found. Eventually there will be a spot to the right that you can go. You just make your way through this crevice and around to the backside. This isn't the only way to get to this area, but it's the one that I know. There's a lot of invisible ceiling here, so you don't actually have to sword fly across this distance. You'll want to save your super if at all possible, because we're going to be using it in a bit to get on top of the pipes that you see in the distance. When you get to this point, you need to head left around this invisible wall. That's the pipe we'll be climbing up. You can probably also climb it with various stasis abilities, but I haven't actually unlocked those on my Titan yet. Guardian down. I don't know how to get into the section that we just walked over just yet, since there is a door blocking it off. But we can get into this encounter by just dropping through the top of these pipes. We couldn't do that for part one because it was above the map ceiling. Guardian down. And you can see we're on the other side of those pipes from where we cut out from the part one area. Guardian down. Unfortunately, from here, you're kind of confined to this room. This door over here is where you would go through and eventually continue the spacewalk section. So jumping into uh, Rapture, you can see the end point around there to give you some perspective on where I am. And we're going to get into this room. Just jump up here and towards the spawn door and it turns out there is a hole a little bit to the left of where I went to there. We don't believe you'll be able to do this in the raid itself because we think there might be an entity that spawns in that blocks it, but who knows. And last, but not least, the final area. If you're wondering why I didn't show you how to get into here, it's because it's easy and you'll probably accidentally end up stuck here at some point or another. This is the default spawn point for Rapture and Clarity from Rapture. It also makes it a dead instance because there is no way to leave this. As you see here when I die, I respawn in here, and 
From here, the only way to get out is to leave and rejoin on someone in a safe area. But hopefully that'll help you out in your exploration of the various parts of the raid. Enjoy exploring, and I can't wait to actually do this thing in a few days.